The Surfing Violinist presents Alu Gobi, Masala Vlog, Episode 22. This month, my attempts at nailing a good parata were met with the typical results. Well, it's a little rounder, but it's still just super thin and like a cracker. It is, look at it, it's bigger though. I mean, it reminds me of like unleavened bread. At like oh, right? Yeah. Mm. Maybe do one and a half size balls. Mm, maybe so. No, all right. Okay, little, uh, look. Look. It looks more like a lecha parata. Look at it. Good job. It's still, still do stiff in yeah, the middle. Yeah, right? Definitely doughy. That's right? doughy right there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Impressively looking like what it's supposed to look like. More so than I was thinking. Mel did some more chai experiments and used me as a taste tester. For a richer color. So that one's with the yeah. milk. Yeah, and it also, I mean, yeah, it creates that malai. For this one, yeah, it doesn't. Okay, I have a little taste experiment that I've, that I've been meaning to try. So, want us to taste these chai side by side and see which one we, look, we like better. So one of them, the milk's been added in just afterwards not actually boiled in it. And then one of them, it, the milk's been boiled in. Because sometimes when I'm making large batches of chai, it's loads easier for me to add the milk in afterwards and like not actually boil it in there. So I wanted to see how much the taste difference was. Okay, what? You wanna start with the big cup or the small cup? It's a big cup. Okay. Okay, cheers. Cheers. It's hard to say this one's hotter, so I, I like know, this right? one better. Yeah. I think the taste seems a little more aromatic or something. Mm-hmm. Yep. You could you could even tell like so the small cup was the one that had the milk had been boiled in. You could tell like there was a difference in color. Yes, obviously it's also gonna be hotter where the other one, the milk is gonna cool cool it down. Mm -hmm. But yeah. yeah it it tastes, is a better flavor. It tastes better, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then she threw a little intro to Diwali celebration for some of our friends. Dias and sparklers were lit, snacks and chai were shared. Probably the biggest event we've thrown since moving to the new place, and it is a sigh of relief to have the extra outdoor space. We hung up some new lights, which Mel loves. We're introducing our buddy Aaron to a bit of beyond Bollywood appreciation since he fell in love with RRR to help him discover some of the nooks and crannies of Indian cinema. So I shared one of my favorite indie films with him, Hala, or as I call it, What Happens When You Let Pet Peeves Rule Your Life. It's a perfect parable for me and my dark side of bitter antisocial tendencies that I've let rule my life far too often. Holds up for me on a rewatch. And for the next Beyond Bollywood one take, I'll be doing Danusha's Three, which of course featured the beloved Why This Kola Veri D, which came out in 2012 while I was there in India. I'll be doing a micro overture cover of that one as well, so expect that probably by the end of November, beginning of December. This movie actually shocked me, definitely following in the masala tradition of the old bait and switch of cramming two different kinds of movie together. Not sure how effective the whole package is, but it is certainly memorable. Rohan tried kakras for the first time. First kakra. No need too much, I want a lot of it. Kind of like a cracker, really thin cracker. Thin cracker. Very, very thin. Wait Good. Mel has been quite dedicated with her social media marketing for Deli Melis, taking some fantastic DIY promotional pics. Mm, I'm about the only one that works. Mm, excellent. Yeah. So we got paneer, tikka masala, uh -huh. veg korma, veg korma, yellow dal, mm -hmm. butter chicken, butter chicken. fake naan. Fake naan. <laughs> and finally this month I gave my attempt at alu gobi. For the first recipe I tried Rod Shree's. It was okay, but the three chilies might have been too much for me. And I don't know, pretty bland otherwise. My frying of the potatoes and cauliflower kind of sucked. But reheating the first batch wasn't so bad as leftovers. 
not a bad first try. For the second attempt, I tried cooking Shooking's recipe. Let's see how round two went. What do you think? I think it's very good. Spice is good. It's nice. Solid. Nice. All right, good. Look at you, all grown up, eating your veggies. Yeah. All right, give, you, give me a bite. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Attempt two. You could use more heat on this one. Right. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not bad, huh? Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah. Oh, yeah. First batch was all it was was heat. Yeah, I like this. This is yummy. Okay. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. This is better than. Yeah, okay. Second time is better than the first. It's not like trans transubstantiation. No, but it's olive gobi. Mm -hmm. Come on. No, but I mean, I've tasted some pretty transcendent olive gobies in India. Sorry, pardon. Okay, this isn't bad. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Until next time, let's get back in the kitchen because life is too short to live without masala. Danyava, dosto. To see these videos early without ads, join the lineup here on YouTube. You just need a YouTube account, and for $1.99 a month, you click this little join button and sign up to get early and ad free access to four monthly vlogs the surf vlog, the masala vlog, the violin vlog, and the family vlog. Thank you very much.